Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn what are python booleans. So boolean values we have heard is a true or false and how this is utilized in python in this video we are going to learn. Myself Rakesh, please do subscribe to my channel, please do hit on the bell icon to stay up to date. So let's learn, let's learn what are these python booleans, right? For example, if I write print and I'm going to say a statement 100 is greater than 99 now tell me what would be the output is it going to print 199 because i am asking it to print like this or is going to evaluate the value and say me whether it's true or not so it's going to evaluate so you can see it is going to evaluate and saying true true or not let's see if i put a, a double quote around this so then what would happen then it is going to print the values so if you see it's going to print the values but if you don't put a double quote it will take it as a mathematical evaluation and will evaluate and give me the output whether it's true or not if i uh, interchange let's say 99 is greater than 100 if i say so what would happen this is a false statement so it is going to say false getting it now let's take some practical example of boolean values okay for example here i'm going to assign a value a is equal to let's say i'm going to say 700 and let's say b is equal to i will say 500 right and i'm going to use a if statement and i'm going to say a is greater than b if a is greater than b colon the syntaxes are very important and the indent or the white space given when i come down below the if statement else uh, if a is greater than b then what i'm saying print print what print a is greater so i'll say a, a is a variable i'll say comma See how I am writing the syntaxes are more important. A, comma, and in double quotes, I'm is greater than, let's say I want to say B, greater than B. So I'm using a comma and writing it. Okay. After that, else, the moment you type else and put a colon, automatically it will shift the code to the left side and hit on enter. So here I will say print just the opposite i will write so what i will do let me copy this and paste okay okay now here i will say b is greater than a okay now if i run this what would be the output because a value contains 700 is greater than 500 it's saying let's say what if i make it to 200 and run this so now it will say b is greater than a it will say 500 is greater than so this is the more practical example of python boolean symbols okay so this is this will be very very useful uh, in a later stage so right now learning the syntaxes and learning what would be the output is important okay now next thing uh, what we will do we will try to um, i am going to teach you one more thing okay for example if i say uh, print let's say i'm going to give it a value uh, to a variable called x let's say i'm going to give it a value called uh, 150 okay i'm giving it a value 150 and saying print there is something called is instance this is one of the method or function is instance x is int that means i am trying to evaluate if the variable x is an integer type or not so if you run this the print would print the output yes true what if I'm going to put a double quote in the value so it will become a string now the output become it's it's false right because it's not an integer type so if you want to evaluate a variable whether it's an integer or not this is how you can do it print is instance and in the bracket I'm writing so Python codes are pretty simple to remember all you have to do is you know keep on writing on a single notebook and every day try to refer it you know anytime you want to use this refer the book it will help you and practice it multiple times so that it will be on your fingertips okay guys so that's all about booleans we are going to learn a next topic in our next video till then take care bye bye please do subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon guys thank you take care